This is my impression of Bob Monkos. With the gold brown face. Starting this week on Soma. Catch 22. The endearing story of a man. And another man. And a guitar. And a cat. And on Tuesday night at 8pm, a million things to do with beans. A bit of washing up, uh, it's got a bit of crap in there. Oh, we didn't need to do it after the first one. Um, some people might say it'll spread tetanus, but it doesn't. Best to do is just beans in a can, so there's no difference. Whisk that around a bit of hot water. The water's not actually gone hot yet. No, of course. But regardless. You, this water is set to a certain temperature, isn't it? Because you don't want it too hot. No, in, in, in a special kitchen like this one, you've got to make sure that the water is about, about 37 degrees, possibly a little bit hotter. You know, you don't want to be putting your hand in the sink and finding your hands scalded. Went back to school, brought the kids on it. I uh, felt a bit intimidated again, like when I used to get bullied. But uh, just went down, showed my face. One kid uh, got himself in a fight, went to the master. He had blood in his knuckles, he'd been punching a wall. Ten year old child. Not much point in fighting a wall, is it? Well, he lost, obviously. But uh, I had to go to one side, gave him the uh, words of wisdom that I got, because I used to get in trouble when I was a kid. Um, got arrested, got an ASBO before he even came out. And uh, got, a, got sent to strange ways for a bit. Anyway, this little kid, he was, um, his name was Owen, I think. First name's not Michael. So the name's not Coyle? Ooh, three names, but he only had one, Owen. And uh, he thought the world Owen owed him a living, but he doesn't. Ever been embarrassed? If so, you'll love embarrassing moments. Do you mind if I sit down? What are you here for? Morning. I'm here for evening. <laughs> anyway, see you later, yeah? Yeah, I must do. And if you're a fan of sport, tie some tennis. Under lock and key, and the key has got to be in somebody responsible's pocket where you can't get to it. But out on the streets, see me, young lad, Chinese, half Chinese, kind of, walking down the street with a sword. Someone says, I've had, I've had in the past ginger ninja. That's what people call me. Well, sure, take it on the chin. But if someone goes, Oi, ginger, and I'm in a bad mood, cut the throat.
Or continuing with our food theme, flavor, flavor. Colon, a man who can see taste with his eyes. There's loads of different flavored crisps in a bowl. When they don't just like do individual bowls of ready salted and salt and vinegar and cheese and onion. So I hate cheese and onion crisps. And it's like pick them up and sniff them, and then people go, Ugh, what are you doing that for? Like, yeah, I'll not eat a cheese and onion crisp, and they go, Yeah, you know, it probably tastes good. But since I don't know what flavor it is. Um, yeah, and I ended up like coming back from, from parties with emphysema. The, the, the flavour of the crisps made me uh, my lungs clog up, so I had to um, I had to train myself to tell what flavour a crisp was by looking at it. And uh, I had to talk. For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> the purple mousse don't love me. The poison will be here. Still that one. Favourite quote from that? He says he um, got a bit annoyed actually at one point because what it was was some prison guy was on a plane. They shouldn't have put him on. Um, people were trying to kill him. He's going to give evidence. So instead of just shooting him, they put snakes on a plane. They inject them with um, hormones and stuff, so the adrenaline, or whatever. They're all aggressive. Then Sammy one takes line down. Uh, he shot a few snakes. Some of them came. So he said, mm, Get those motherfucking snakes off my motherfucking plane! And that was it. So yeah, someone shot a, a hole on the side of the plane. So the plane came off, but the plane didn't, didn't go down like you would think. Just all the snakes and nothing else flew out. A couple of baddies. Um, and then the plane got landed to safety. Might have been by Samuel L. Jackson, which I think he actually drove it. Oh, no, he didn't. Tell a lie. There was a gangster in there, and he'd done a few hours flying. This was a little joke they did. Because his mate said, no, this is for you. And he said, yeah, I was on a few hours. Quite a few thousand, actually. When he got on the reins, he said, hey, I've only done a few thousand on the PlayStation. It was a computer game he'd done the, the flying on, not in real life. Oh, good joke. But um, he still landed the plane with a hole in the side of it, and he'd never flown a plane in his life. And he managed to land the plane. So, presumably, he got a career from it. New to Soma. Comedy. Drama. Anger. Film. Documentaries. Right, I'll. Um... You see, I think smoking is uh, the best way to get into a, uh, a philosophical debate, if you will. Um, or Mama. And speaking of Mama, Sartre. What, what Sartre did was, um, in the uh, existentialism and humanism, he, um, he looked at the subjective um, and his, uh, his main foundation of that was the example of a paper knife and the, uh, the way that a human being exists and then becomes something. Whereas a paper knife is a, um, is a concept already. But, I mean, you can imagine a paper knife, can't you? And then you make it and then it, it, its existence precedes its essence. Whereas for... It's the other way around. I did like, we see him in the gym actually quite a lot. I've not yeah. seen him naked yet though. Which, God that's sunny. Gee. What would you do without the sun? I mean it would just be night time really, so. Uh, I'd, 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 I'd go home and put the radio on. <laughs> For seven minutes and just really spend loads of money on energy bills. Because you know they're never going to get it back. Yeah. The Unless... question, question is though, w would, would the radiators be hot enough to make a difference to the ultimate cold that would spread over the earth? Unless... Would it be like an instant ice age? <laughs> Instantly everything freezes over. Or, or, or would, would we be protecting ourselves with our ultra-fat ozone layer that's, that's clogged full of heat? Uh, would we actually sustain ourselves for a probably. bit Probably. I wonder how long we'd actually live for with no sun. Because it's not... Alright, we no food, basically, would there? Really. But you can have artificial sunlight now, anyway. Yeah. Just live indoors. Grow your own food. There you go. Sorted.